All right, Pedro, congratulations. You've pulled off a fine win here against Gladiola. But it has not been the type of season to which you've been accustomed. No, um, actually, it's been a kind of a tough season for us so far. You know, we, we've been behind the eight ball in the last two games. And even coming into this game, we were on the, um, the eight ball again. Um, they have some young players, you know, coming up from the first division into the, the elite team. And, um, you know, they, they're still getting accustomed to the, the cricket up there. It's a bit you know, tougher, but um, I think we, we're good enough to, to, you know, come out on top this game. Hopefully that we can carry on and finish off on a good note for the rest of the season. You are accustomed to doing very well, and that, of course, would mean the players as well as the coaching staff. To what extent has the struggle this season had an effect on the players or even the, the backroom staff? Well, um, I would say, um, you know, for the coaching staff, you know, Floyd and Ryan Hines, you know, they have left. And then, um, you know, I've been in charge since Floyd have gone. Um, I had a few personal um, things to take care of. Well, you know, I've been away for like two months. And then it was just Arrow, Arrow Bar by himself. So it's a bit tough on him. Um, we have some support from some of the senior boys, um, especially Kyle Corbin. He's been coming in and you know helping. He's doing his levels now in, in the coaching, so he, he's been helping out a lot. Um, in terms of the, the guys, we had about you know eight guys um, in the other program, as in guys graduated and gone on, and then CPL came and you know guys been drafted in the, the teams. So you know having eight players, key players missing out of any team, you know. It's a rebuilding stage for us, and um, you know, hopefully we can get it right. We get it right as soon as possible. Um, today is a you know a step forward. Um, once we finish in the top five, I think you know I'll be happy with that for the season, and um, looking forward to the, to the next season. Uh, I think that we have uh, some young players coming in. Um, young Emmanuel Stewart, um, he's one for the definite for the future. You have Gian, he's batting really well. And a couple of um, young players, the guy Taj Seminar came home for Dominica. He's in the first division. He already got a hundred. So he got some exciting players, you know, to, to come up and to do well. Hopefully that, you know, we can we can bat them and they can put in that, that extra work that they'd always do it and come up on top. Well, you've got the um, 50 over competition, the regional 50 over competition coming up as well, and you're the defending champions now. Of course, in the local competition, you're branded as uh, UWA in, in the regional competition, CCC. But I think everyone knows it's, it's pretty much the same product. How much pressure do you feel to, to defend in defending that championship this year? Well, um, it's not going to be easy. Um, first of all, it wasn't easy to win it. And it's not <laughs> definitely going to be easy to defend it. And again, we're going to be losing probably half of the team that we won it with. But yet, there's an opportunity for other players to come up in and put up their hand and make a name for themselves. So... You know, um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a challenge um, for me personally as a coach and for the, the young players in the team. You know, um, a lot of guys will be making a debut. But um, I have confidence in, you know, the preparation we put in with the guys, the ability of the guys. So it should be a good tournament. I'm really looking forward to it. Charles Braffitt, um, his excellent leadership would have been influential last year, I would imagine. What's his position this time around? Um, Carlos is going to join us. He's probably going to miss the first two games, um, but he definitely gave me his word that he's going to be here to defend his championship. So, um, you know, he, he's, I think, on vacation right now. So he'll be with us shortly, hopefully, you know, sooner than, than, than later. But um, he's scheduled to miss two, the first two games. Um, hopefully, you know, we can notch up two wins before he gets there. So that'd be great. Who's likely to lead in his absence? Um, probably Kai Corbin, he was a captain before Carlos, um, and he did a you know, pretty good job uh, in the past. And you know, he knows the system, he knows the players, he knows to motivate. And um, I have no doubt that he would you know, lead the team and do well. In terms of leadership, that's a much talked about issue in regional cricket. What is it like working with Carlos as, as a captain? You are a coach, and of course, Carlos a captain as you, as you had last year uh, in the successful, successful tournament. Uh, it was amazing. Um, well, what can, I, what can I say? He he left in the front. Um, he wasn't tough on the players, you know. He he gave them that range to do what they want. Um, but you no know, one across the line. It was tough cricket, you know. He always wanted them to man up and to own it. 
and you know he always inspired and he was a he was a top top mentor for the guys you know a lot of guys was looking up to him but not only Carlos before I, I thought that you know the way he spoke to the guys they didn't know that they could do it too and you know a, a lot of guys came up in a lot of individual performances and that was key and you know what he brought was something that you know we could we can do it for a long time and hopefully a lot of guys you know watch him and learn from him because they think he's a he's a top role model for the days and he's a very he's a very good captain. I mean one of the best. And everything just went smoothly. Um if you know all the games we played, we we won handsomely. It wasn't like any tight game, the close games, there was no pressure on anybody. And guys just wanted to have fun, you know, and that was a part of it, a big part of it. They enjoyed themselves on the field or off the field. Well, all the best as you go into the regional competition under the CCC brand and also for the remainder of the domestic competition here in Berlin. Yeah, thank you very much.